bays along the Bonnie Carey Spillway. Yeah, they started the process uh, today after heavy rains up north caused water levels in the Mississippi River to rise. Robison has the story from Norco. My authority is Norris District Engineer, commence operations of the Bonnie Carey Spillway. Army Corps Colonel Mike Clancy gives the okay to begin opening the Bonnie Carey Spillway for the second time in as many years. Something that's unprecedented. Just tremendous amount of rainfall for a long time. There is flooding in the Ohio Valley, the Cumberland Valley, the Tennessee Valley, the Mississippi Valley. Mississippi River drains 41% of the United States. All of that sediment-rich river water is blowing past New Orleans at the rate of a one and a quarter million cubic feet per second. And the Corps is hoping that this structure helps keep that flow from getting any stronger. Well, we'll progressively open more bays in the coming weeks until the crest passes. The fresh, muddy water is now flowing into Lake Pontchartrain, where fishermen worry about impacts. We hear varying reports about the seafood in the lake. Um, and of course, the lake conditions change day to day. It all depends on the volume of fresh water coming in from the North Shore. Obviously, this has a major effect with this large volume of fresh water coming in. Among those watching today's opening, coastal restoration advocates who say this diversion plays up the need for other diversions, which they say could help relieve the flow and help rebuild Louisiana's depleted wetlands. We're excited about what the Army Corps and the state together are doing also to put that sediment in our wetlands. 100 million tons of sediment go down the river each year. We need to be putting that sediment back into our wetlands, which are starving and sinking. But for now, the goal is flood control. The Corps will keep opening bays over the next month for a 13th opening in 87 years.